Hey, this is John from Eastern Hot Rodder. We're getting close to 500 subscribers, and you might be the lucky guy or girl to win this backpack that we're going to review today. Uh, watch this video to find out how. Hey guys, it's John from Eastern Hot Rodder, and today we're going to do a review. Alex from Viking Backpack sent me the Trident uh, large motorcycle backpack that's designed to uh, strap to a sissy bar. I told him we don't do a whole lot with motorcycles, we're more car people, but I got to tell you, this is the coolest backpack I ever had. And uh, I'm not seeing it just because I have to do a review on it because this sucker is actually really cool. So I'm going to show you what we did with it. I wanted to see how much this thing would hold. First, when I took it out, I was really impressed by how thick it is. It's like a real thick water resistant canvas. I even splashed water on it and it just beat it up and went away. So it stayed fairly, I wouldn't say it's waterproof because if you were going swimming with it, you'd probably get soaked. But if this was strapped to the back of a motorcycle, your stuff's going to stay pretty much dry. The cool thing about this right away, I like how the zippers are really big. And the top one in this top pouch has this little loop here. So you can put a zip tie or a clasp in there to keep them from separating. So they're not going to vibrate loose on you while you're riding down the road. You got this protective zipper here. This opens up like this. And it's got a liner in there so you can keep your sunglasses in it. So you can put sunglasses in it. And you could probably fit, I mean, I can fit my whole hand in there, so there's plenty in there. And it's got a liner in there to keep things from getting scratched. So in here, I want to see how much stuff I can fit in here without really cramming it. As you can see, there's still room in there. I could put more in there. So I put a pair of shorts, and I got two t-shirts, and my extra large hoodie. And I'm not a real small guy, so this is all extra large stuff. And... Check this out. There's a sleeve here. That's a big laptop that I put in there. So I'll put that over there and get some more room. So I could fit more stuff in there, but I got big size 14 feet. So in the bottom, keep them separate, put a pair of Converse in there. So that's cool because this whole liner goes up inside the main pack, but it's completely separate. So if you didn't want to use this bottom part, you could keep this thing unloaded and it gives you even more room in there. You could fit mini me from my uh, Austin Powers in there, no problem. Uh, over on the side, you got these mesh things, which hold, you can put maps and stuff in there. But on this side, I stuck the Constitution. On this side, you got a buck knife. And then these things unzip. And that's a full. Um, Yeti thermos and you can fit one of those on each side and fully zipper it which was cool I did have some taller stuff that wouldn't fit in there but these are the, the drink cups we use all the time so it's really perfect for us as far as that goes and uh, the, uh, the zippers again they're kind of heavy duty I like that they had a big pole on them so you grab them even if you're wearing gloves you'd be able to access them no problem at all then this is why they call it the Trident, because there's three packages here. We got our Street Race flashlight. We got, in this one, just to see what I could fit in here, I stuck a harmonica. And this passport looking thing. And then over on this side, I got this. It's another one of those things. It holds those pennies that you get for souvenirs. So that, I think that's what I put in there. Yeah, that's what I put in there. But you can put all sorts of different things. That size fit pretty good. Um, you have more room for that. But wait, there's more. Because over on this side, I didn't even notice this at first. This unzips. So then I got East versus West Showdown book. You should get it. It's a pretty good one. You get that at Car Tech Books. And another pocket, which this is Thunder Road for you guys that don't like the moonshine history and the story of the... Uh, that movie Thunder Road that kind of retraces those steps. But so in there you got an open space and then there's another sleeve that's pretty big. But so you put a big book in and also the narrow one in there. I think your laptop would fit in no problem. Zipper that back up. But wait, there's more. You open this sucker up and this is Velcro back here. And we got How to Chop Tops by Tex Smith. That was a really good book too. So that, you can hear that Velcro. It's good strong Velcro. So that fit that in there, no problem. The laptop would fit in there, but I like the idea that you can put it inside, keep it out of sight. And I think that's everything. Let's see. Yeah, and then 
Of course, you got your adjustable straps. This comes across the front and snaps in. And then it's got these three straps here. And then you can actually run these through this top loop here like this and snap that together and uh, uh, you can also cinch these up to get these up out of the way so that would actually strap over your sissy bar on your motorcycle uh, I know I'm a car channel uh, I know a lot of my my uh, um, subscribers they're also bike guys too we like everything with a motor um, but this thing would be great for a hot rod you know especially a small uh, hot rod like a little rat rod with a pickup bed because you can toss this in the back it's heavy enough heavy, real thick heavy duty it feels good it feels like it's going to last a good long time it's water resistant so whatever you put in there it'd be great for a couple days stay somewhere um it'd be a good track bag uh check out their website it's viking bags and uh, um they have other ones too they have some other bags that'll actually hold a full helmet i put a, a big helmet in here and it was pretty tight with the uh, laptop um, without the laptop the helmet would work in there no problem you could easily easily use this for a track pack uh, you know going if you're going to the drag strip or autocross or something you had to put your safety gear in here to keep it stored and keep it all in one place in the back whoa wait a second we're gonna give this backpack away we're getting close to 500 subscribers so as soon as we get to 500 subscribers we're gonna pull one of our subscribers names out and pick it but here's the deal you have to enter to win by simply putting in a comment down below like the video comment maybe tell me why you want this backpack uh, tell me what you think is cool about it or just give me a thumbs up whatever you want to do But if you're a subscriber and you comment below, we're gonna automatically put you in To win this $130 backpack from Viking Bears. So good luck guys All right, here it is guys. This is all the stuff that we had into this one backpack. This is vikingbags.com This is their Trident large backpack. It retails for $129.99 uh, That's the price on their website as of today uh, Again, as heavy duty as can be, you can fit all this stuff in there. I put enough stuff in there, more than enough stuff in there for like your, your weekend car show or bike show. And I still had plenty of room. Go get your own today at vikingbags.com. This is a Trident one. I got a link in uh, the blog on, the, on our uh, easternhotrider.com website. And there's also, I'll uh, put a link underneath the YouTube video so you guys can go directly to it. But uh, I highly recommend this. Uh, they're out of California. Alex was a great guy. Thank you, Alex, for sending this to me. Um, it, it was a great product to review, and uh, I was very impressed with this, this backpack. Um, I'm not a backpack guy, so you wouldn't think I would be this excited about it. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Check out vikingbags.com and get yours today. They have a bunch of other designs on there. The motorcycle one that holds the helmet, I think would be really cool for a trackside bag for you drag racers out there. Um, but you can't go wrong with this one. Thanks again, guys, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.